Hey, what's up guys, Ramana here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And today, I had someone go out and pick me up my order from Best Buy. Well, obviously with the whole COVID-19 issue going on, everyone's kind of changing the way they do business and Best Buy had curbside pickup available. So this video, this clip that I'm gonna share with you guys is actually from my Owl Cam. So for all of you that follow me, you know I have Owl Cam and for a lot of people it's not working, but for me it is. I'm gonna show you this clip. Okay, so basically you pull up in your car, and by the way, this footage is from my owl cam in my car. Um, you pull up to the Best Buy location, you have someone basically guide you to an open spot. You pull in and you park, and then you have an associate that comes out to you that basically brings a product that you bought on bestbuy.com. Pretty cool. So here it is. This is the 12.9 inch, uh, 256 gigabyte. Uh, iPad Pro, this is the fourth generation. This is the one that just came out to a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, I think, or so. And we're gonna go ahead and box it, take a look at it, do first impressions, and see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. And this is not gonna be a technical review by any means. So that will be coming up shortly after I unbox it. Of course, use it in a little bit and I'll do a full review on it later on. But let's go ahead and start unboxing. So we're gonna go ahead and take this tab off here. goes here we go nothing on this side I'm actually gonna move this out of the way because I don't think you guys can see this fully in the frame on top you've got the iPad Pro covered up put that aside for a second Cut out for the camera, instructions, as well as, do we have the Apple stickers? They do have the Apple stickers, I see something. Yes, the Apple stickers are back in here. And that's it, so you've got instructions and your Apple stickers in here. Power brick, this is a USB-C 18 watt adapter. You've got your USB-C cable. Leave that in there for the time being. And that's it, that's pretty much the unboxing. Uh, power adapter, USB, and the iPad. So let's go ahead and take a look at the iPad now. Here it is. Let's flip this over and go ahead and take the wrapper off. Just like so. Here's the back. Nice and clean. This looks very familiar, of course, with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The camera setup is very different, except this one's got two cameras. Uh, one ultra wide and one wide and then you've got your um, AR function on there as well. Let's take a look at the top here. We've got uh, speaker, speaker, two microphones here, one microphone in the front. This thing actually has five microphones which is crazy. It's got two on top, one in the front, one on the side. Uh, so that's three, four and then one in the back uh, on the camera. So it's got five microphones. It's got two speakers on top two speakers on bottom along with the USB-C port for charging. Magnetic strip there, volume rockers, and the power button on top. This is nice, I like this. It's kind of big. I had the other version, the 11 inch uh, uh, version, the older one, the last generation, and I wanted to get something a little bit bigger. And so here it is. Let's go ahead and power this thing on and see what it looks like. See the button pressed. There it is, Apple icon. It 
This of course does have the A12, uh, the new chip, as well as the iOS. Swipe up to open. Nice. I'm not gonna do a full setup on here, but you guys can see how quick this is. This is kind of nice. Quick start or manual setup. I am gonna set it up with my phone. So I'm gonna stop this here. Just quickly turn the screen off. Turn it back on, let's just take a look here. Nice. It is 83% charged right now. And uh, first impression, this is nice. It's a little on the heavier side, I think. Uh, it doesn't have a case on it right now, so it does seem just slightly heavy. It is also, again, 13 inch almost, so it is a little bit bigger than the last generation, or 11 inch, I should say. So that maybe that's why it seems a little heavy to me. But you've got the camera here again, the microphone in the front. So you've got your ultra wide camera, your normal camera, your LiDAR detector, your flash, as well as on the microphone in the back. The rest of it is plain. So I'm excited. I'm gonna take a look at this and use it. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can really use this as a replacement to my MacBook Pro. Uh, I've heard a lot of people try and do that and you know, as far as editing options go for Photoshop as well as video editing, it has the capabilities of doing it. I personally don't know if I will like it just from a whole system change standpoint because especially on the monitor, I use an external monitor to do all my editing. But I'm gonna try to use this as my everyday daily driver instead of my MacBook Pro. And uh, I'm gonna be back in about a week or so and I'm gonna update you guys on my thoughts on the performance of this thing, not only as a replacement to a laptop, but in general, my overall feelings on the actual iPad itself. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I also do have a pencil that I ordered. It should be here midweek, so I am gonna do an unboxing and kind of cover both functionalities as an accessory to the iPad Pro. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also give me a big thumbs up for this video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.